hi everyone welcome back to my channel um today i'm going to do a favorites for june although i think more or less this is a lockdown favorites um because most of the stuff i'm going to show you have used over the past three months in one way or another um if you don't know who i am um i'm mirific beauty i used to run a blog for eight years um things come to a head last year when my hosting site expected me to cough up hundreds of pounds to sub um, to renew my subscription for another year and and this is a hobby for me it's not a business it's um i don't make any money from this in fact i lose money because i buy my products well i don't lose money that's the wrong thing to say i love beauty and i buy it for me and as i buy it for me i share my thoughts with you um, I don't get anything sent to me. On the odd occasion, I've had uh, companies reach out to me, but a lot of them have not been, um, what is it, relevant really to my beauty blog, or they don't really have products that I that are relevant either that I wouldn't use. So, other than that, I basically just do my own reviews, um, and if someone wants to asked me for hundreds of pounds just to renew a subscription I can't afford that I couldn't make the money back either so I had to let it go basically um and I've come onto YouTube instead and one of my followers followers from the blog days has found me Melinda oh thank you so much for coming back and searching for me that I really appreciate that it's nice to know that even if one person's enjoying what I'm doing it's all worthwhile so anyway because it went on and on and on on my last one I need to crack on I have to get hair skincare and makeup um just so you know I've, <laughs> I've done the video before um I went to have my hair done a super Saturday here and the hairdressers have opened so I had a previous appointment booked just before lockdown and unfortunately we went into lockdown and I, could, I couldn't get my hair cut so it's been five months so she's just done it today oh feels great oh it just feels like heaven it really does it's amazing I love it I've never been so happy about a haircut in my whole life but it was horrendous my hair so anyway in lockdown to save it from further dead ends because I had to have about an inch and a half cut off today chuffed because it was too long um so I was using the Kerastas uh, or Kerastas um, resistance ma ma mask um, it's called a <clears throat> mask therapist now this stuff is like heavy duty it's absolutely heavy duty stuff it's for um, dry over processed and damaged hair and chemically treated hair it smells like the forest it's amazing so literally and I've just been told today because I was talking to my hairdresser about this i was saying oh i've just done a youtube video and it was great going on but i said oh, i love this stuff but sometimes it makes my hair a little bit lank and she said you're using too much <laughs> so apparently a pea size amount is all you need for the ends of your hair i've been using like maybe a walnut amount size amount so peanut so that is going to last months 24 pound on amazon.com uh, uk. the um the great thing about this stuff i've got the whole series so i've got well when i say the whole series i've got the shampoo which is beautiful and creamy it's like a cream it, har it hardly lavers up because apparently she was telling me the stuff they put in like the sulfates etc to make it lather up and not good for your hair they actually strip your hair so um with the shampoo it's very creamy and emollient so I put a, a walnut size on my head and I was saying I can't get it to lather up and she said um, and then, then what I was doing was wetting my hair and then put another another walnut amount on my hair and she said to me no you do you don't do that she said you literally only need a tiny amount she said the ingredients are so rich that's why you're finding it hard to also to get it to lather up and like she said the they don't have all those ingredients in to make it lather up because it's actually bad for your hair. So I've learned something today. So anyway, hopefully next time I use it, my hair won't be lank and it'll, but either, either or your hair is incredibly amazing when you use this. This is a real, it's real hardcore. So once a week is more than enough for your hair that, uh, and like I say, the normal conditioner and shampoo, you can get these as a whole set, by the way, and get, lots of loads of money knocked off 
look online because there's always offers on Kerastar stuff. Um, this one is the leave-in. It, it's for split ends or hair to protect from split ends. And what it, it's a cream, it's a duo treatment. You So you obviously wash your hair, you condition, etc., towel dry, and then put this on the ends. It's a heat heat resistant up to 230 degrees i use this every single day i've bought tons and tons of this product and it's fantastic i couldn't highly recommend there's no other product i've ever used as good as this and like say the mask and then um, i've used the other mask the uh, nutri nutritive it's the creamy one with the orange top that's a nice one as well. That's like full of um, vitamins. This is full of amino acids and wheat protein and glutamic acid. So what glutamic acid is, it's a sister to hyaluronic acid. So it will absorb up to 10 times more moisture from the atmosphere, um, uh, glutamic acid. So amazing, really. <laughs> it saved me from probably losing a lot more here than I had to. So I've still managed to keep it quite middle length. Yes. <laughs> anyway, so next up, because I'm going to hurry through these, is my skincare. Clarins Iris, uh, Iris Lotion Tonic Water. So it's, you know, a toner, basically. Um, fabulous. I bought this just just into lockdown, and uh, that's how much I've got left. I was using, sorry, I keep looking at myself. Stop looking at yourself. Stop looking at... I've got my... It's my mobile phone, so I can't actually see the camera lens. So I'm like, I know it's over here somewhere. So I try not to look at myself. <laughs> anyway, this is the, uh, this I use every single day. So once I've done my double cleanse, I then go in to balance my skin with this uh, beautiful tonic water. It does not strip your skin like some other brands, uh, I won't say who, do, which it's just amazing. It's very, it has botanical extracts in it this one is for combination oily skin which is what i have i have an oily t-zone and then fairly normal to dehydrated around the rest of my face fabulous buy that that's worth the money um again so clarins heritage brand they use they use natural natural botanicals in their products they really do this one oh factor 30 fabulous um my it's the probably my favorite product this summer so this one again i'm looking at myself stop it and this one uh you can get it in spf 50 has no um oil in oil in it i don't i don't believe it's got any oil in dry to a matte finish um lovely fragrance on it i'll just give you show you a bit so what it does no white cast whatsoever you rub it into your skin, fab, fabulous for wearing under makeup because <clears throat> that's pretty much a dry already. I see, no white cast whatsoever. Lovely product. So if you've got more of an olive skin tone, I mean, a, a white cast doesn't really show up on me because I'm quite pale. But if you had an olive skin tone, this is your guy. And they're not expensive, you know, on uh, allbeauty.com. You're getting these even cheaper again. I think this is £20 full price. So brilliant product. No need to shake it or laugh laughing about. It's already got the SPF through it. It smells quite fruity and natural. You do get a smell of the SPF in the background. However, it's not nearly as strong as some of them. I really do recommend this. I actually was sunbathing with this on and didn't get any colour on my skin. And I, I'm talking I applied it once and I was out there for about three hours. So worth the money so that's sort of been a savior a savior to me as well next up this one oh i love this one vichy aqualia thermal now vichy do a range of um they do many ranges but this range is very good if you've got dehydrated skin um this one is the gel cream they do a light cream and they also do a rich cream so your rich cream is more for your dry skin light cream if you don't need you know if you've got fairly normal skin the gel cream, I love this. <clears throat> this works well. My oily tea, tea zone, it doesn't it it doesn't add to it in any way. It gives lovely, it just rehydrates my skin. So I would wear this under. I'd put this on. Um, so I'd put my serum on this and then my SPF before I put my makeup on. If my makeup's got SPF in, I just use this instead and don't use the SPF thirty. Um. I'll just show you the cream. So as you can see, it's well loved. I'm nearly out of it. 
this is really good price again again this was only 20 pound for 50 mil um i'm just going to put a little bit on the so it is a gel formula and it feels very water like on the skin so it just it, it doesn't feel heavy i don't like rich creams because i still even though i'm going through the menopause the menopause has been sort of really great for me because it's kicked up kicked all my adult acne away however i still get the odd breakout around my mouth if i put rich creams on they tend to either clog my pores or because if they're usually heavy in silicon they clog my pores or they cause breakouts so but this one doesn't it's really really nice product lovely just now that's set down so you can put again foundation over this and you'll have a sticky foundation that can't set because you've got a really heavy cream underneath that's been a saviour because I, I've noticed while we've been in lockdown, I've had quite dehydrated skin. And this really just serves to hydrate it really well. Not, not a bad price at all. I'm sort of, even though I love high-end makeup products, I'm, I have a different different thoughts and feelings to skincare. <coughs> Excuse me. Different thoughts and feelings to skincare because I find that, some of the high-end skincare I've bought has been no more effective than the, you know, you know, this sort of low price, sort of high street ranges. And this stuff is great. Vichy uh, tried and tested there, been around forever. I think my mum said she used to use Vichy when she was a kid, you know. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, I mean, the only product I think I've ever used that I think, wow, that was worth the money and it was very expensive was the Chanel Sublimage Le Yeux, you know, for the eye. So I get sometimes a little bit, if my eyes are dry, I get a bit of crepiness around my eyes. That sort of, I got, I managed to get a five mil sample off the, it was, it was around Christmas time one year and I used it and literally one pinprick size does your whole eye. Um, so it's worth the £130 it is, or it is very expensive because you get 15 mils. I got five mils and that lasted me about four months. So 15 mils would last you eternally, I think. It'd last you six months at least. And um, the only thing is sometimes I just don't have that ready cash. So um, I think if I ever treat myself, that would be my treat because that's the only eye cream I've ever used that I can say genuinely works you know but like they usually end up being over £100 and um, as for face creams etc I'd like to say I just find these really effective I you know for my age I am not heavily lined you know I mean like I say Botox I've been thinking about it but even then I'm thinking about it for five years plus not in five years plus time not now Um i have very fine lines around my lips which is a, an, an issue for me i used to smoke and god do i regret it because that's the lasting i mean other than probably i have asthma now because of it other than that the lasting effect has been lines around my mouth so i would get injections for that because i think that's quite aging however lines I have lines here a lot of those lines are i've had all my life because i've always had laughter lines so nothing's ever going to get rid of them and i'm so used to seeing them it doesn't, it doesn't even doesn't bother me really i'm getting start of crow feet crow's feet but nothing drastic and like i say i haven't really used high-end uh, skincare I've just been very smart about the skincare i use i tend to look more on the ingredients lists these days and i'm looking for niacin niacinamide and hyaluronic acid being high up on the list and you know water and glycerin and all anything that's fragrance or pretty bad i want to see that at the very bottom of the list and like I say these these kind of products you know they're they're fabulous you know there's nothing wrong with them so enough about that let's get on to my uh, makeup i'm wearing a lot of it today because in lockdown i have been um just having minimal makeup on my face i did put a lipstick on today because i did go to the hairdressers but however i left all my other than mascara i left all my eye uh, makeup off because like i say normally if i go out I only ever meeting friends or going out for lunch or whatever is only time I put a bit more makeup on. However, normally it's just a case of slapdash, a bit, of, you know, covering up basically my hyperpigment, hyperpigmentation, putting a bit of colour on my skin. And that's all I'm really using makeup for, although I love the stuff, you know. So I'll start with what I've been using for the base products. So first off, 
my Dior Correct uh, concealer. Wonderful. This is the newest concealer in their range. Um, stop looking at yourself. Anyway, keep doing it. Sorry. Um, so this one is fabulous. It's got a doe foot applicator. It's some people can use it under the eyes. I I find it a little bit drying. I'll put a little bit there. What I do with it, I'll tell you now, is I put it around here, there, and all all around here. I have hyperpigmentation, so I pop it around there. Lovely product. I've got zero N. Be careful if you buy this because it seems to be a bit darker than the last one. I used to use 1.5 or 2 and now with this I'm using zero neutral. So there's the product there and it, it's like a medium to heavy, heavy uh, full coverage. So and as you can see it pretty much matches my skin tone. I don't use um, foundations or concealers. If anything, my concealers, I want them a bit lighter. I try to keep this part of my face quite light and under my eyes. And then I put the colour around, you know, like contour, basically. So, yeah, you see, that's a really great colour. And it sets down fully, by the way. It's not, it doesn't stay tacky. That's where I can't wear it under the eye. I've tried so many times, put powder on, minimal powder, and it still creases a little bit. So I use... Uh, Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Away. I use that and I use the, the best one I've ever used for under around my eyes um, for not creasing is the Lancome uh, Facile. Uh, Facile. I haven't got any at the moment, but it's a Lancome one and it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. But I've got this at the moment and I did buy a backup of this, so I won't be buying the um, I won't be buying the Lancome one just yet. However, this is lovely. It's nearly finished, so like I say, I've got to back up. You just literally, this is a um, three fair. I've got it in and I should be able to see it just there. Yeah, and it's great, it's great. It puts, you can put as much product, you can squeeze out, as obviously there's not much left, but you can squeeze out as much product or as little product as you like. It usually stays within the sponge, so you can just use the sponge. Now, I try and just put a tiny bit here. I try not to uh, overload my eye with concealer. It's all well and good when you're in your 20s and you're putting tons of it here. Or there was, you know, YouTube tutorial, tutorials with putting tons here. And then the baking it off, no way, you can't do that once you uh, get lines, Doesn't no chance. <laughs> so yeah, that's brilliant. Next up is my foundation of the season, this one. Um, it is the Estee Lauder, um, it's Futurist Hydra uh, Rescue. So it has great uh, skincare ingredients. I will link all these below so you can look them up yourself. Great skincare benefits to this it's also a lovely medium and you can build it to a full coverage uh, foundation it looks like that i've got two n1 no yeah two m1 desert beige as my um exact match now it's got spf 45 in it and there's 35 mils in the tube so it's really good value actually i will say about this as well is it's um the only foundation I've ever got on with, with from Estee Lauder, I've never got on with any of their other foundations. They're, they're Double Wear Water, Water Fresh, I think it was called. Stunning, I really loved it, but I couldn't find a shade that just worked for me. This one, the Desert Beige works for me in this one, but it doesn't work for me, and Desert Beige does not work for me in other ones they do. The double wear itself, the original, oh, I look like the Crypt Keeper when I put that on because it sits in every single line. I don't care about foundations lasting 16 hours on my skin. At the most, I probably wear them for eight hours and even less because um, as soon as I get home, say from work, I'm straight straight away washing off my face. So, and I'm, if I'm only wearing it like in lockdown, I've been wearing it to go out. As soon as I come back again, I just wash it off. So I'm not one for one caring if they last. 16 hours on my skin i don't really know who, anybody who really genuinely cares about that as long as it i mean they're all, always going to slightly wear off around your mouth and nose they might wear off around your mouth when you eat and drink uh, you know that's just normal so if you can take a bit into work and just top up what's the issue there's no issue is there it doesn't sit in any fine lines it's a lovely dewy finish 
I just set the t-zone and like I say around the t-zone when I've got this on I love this it's gorgeous it's probably Estee Lauder's best foundation it really is a, win a winner um next up what have I got let's do my face so I've done that I'm setting down with meteorites so over lockdown I've been trying to use some of my meteorites this is from the golden lamb which was a holiday holiday from this Christmas this year um love it lovely packaging I'll just show you them it's a lovely super fine powder and that's what they look like now if you don't own any Gaylan meteorites oh they smell heavenly they just smell of those palm of violets um just stunning when you put the powder on your face just stop worrying about fragrance for god's sake <laughs> you know the fragrance does not last on your skin so i wish people would uh, I, i'm gonna make this my mission to stop people whinging on about fragrance high-end skincare has amazing fragrance because these houses were fragrance houses to, be, to begin with they are non-comedogenic they are fabulous so you're just losing out if you don't if you don't use these products you're just losing out so much the great the thing about um say high skit high street um foundations is sometimes they're okay but when you smell them they smell of chemicals because they've got no fragrance and it's not it's not pretty i don't care when anyone says that's not a nice smell it it, it tells you as well you're putting bad ingredients sometimes on your skin as well so like i say lovely you know obviously if you've got super sensitive skin but however a very fine dusting of powder on your face i don't think it's going to break you out anyway i think you'd have to have constant um like application of perfumey style ingredients to really affect you and that's if you've got really really um sensitive skin i've got sensitive skin and none of these products have ever broke me out like i say if it's usually rich emollient creams that break me out so they a meteorite to set that you know i set my t-zone down i tend to leave it as dewy as possible the foundation and then i go in with my this is i love this this is a chanel sunset um, it's the Le Beige Healthy Glow Illuminating Powder and Sunset. Chanel do these every year. They're always limited edition. Please, I implore you, <laughs> they, if, if just for the fact that they can be collector's pieces, you, they're worth buying. You've got the lovely, um, see the rope-like embossing on, that's this year's design. You do pay for the designs. You know, I'm not even going to deny that. You get your little brush as well there's the product it's sitting on my cheeks now love it it's got a lovely um very fine micro super fine tiny gold micro flex in it and when you buff it out the gold just comes out as an illumination on your cheeks so you don't wouldn't have to wear when you do this you wouldn't actually have to wear any highlighter because it highlights itself it's gorgeous i'm in love with this product and again I'm sort of disappointed with Chanel because they've reduced the fragrance, to, you know, obviously from pressure from people. They didn't even need to do that because it's non-comedogenic. You know, it's a shame really because their uh, fragrance, the Chanel fragrance is amazing. So that's the sunset. I bought the sand which I showed in my last video. So um, I'll link the video below um, and check that one out because the sand is uh, it's more like an illuminating powder um gorgeous next um what have i been yeah my blusher of the month has been the chanel jouet contrast um powder blush zero two rose bronze i bought this when i was in the states a couple of years ago because they don't sell it in the uk sadly this shade uh, it's like a dusky pink a bit like rose crayon only with a golden shift in it that's what makes it bronzy so if you think if you've had rosé crayon which you can still get in, in most places it's like that with a golden shift in it and it's gorgeous it really is and i've got a bit of that on my cheeks today as well i thought i'd just put it on to show you um my i just chanel 
Dior blushes are very nice as well, but Chanel and my next are um, also my favourite. Not my next favourite, they are my favourite. Um, the, two, the only blushes I wear, actually, are both. I've got one by Dior and everything else is uh, Chanel. So, on to, let's see if I'm... Oh, I just wanted to show you this, my Dior Backstage Glow Face, glow pla uh, glow face Palette. So, I'm also... I put a bit of the bronze on the back of my cheeks just to give me a bit more colour today. So there's the palette. Oh, this one is stunning. Oh, it's incredible, this. And the thing it's great for, I'll just show you the back. It's great as well for travelling with. So what you get is you get your two highlighters, a blush and a bronze. What I do is, I generally don't use the white, but if I do, it's usually in the, in the corner of my eyes. I use the pink and the golden, it's like a beigey gold, um, hi as highlighters. So mix them together. So I'll do that now and I'll put them together, show you, and then I'll do swatches of each. This is a beautiful strobe-like palette. It really gives you a lovely glowy finish. So, and then the, and like I say, I use the bronzer today. So look how pigmented that is. And I'm gonna I think I'm gonna buy the other one, which is the um it is a like a peachy version. So and it's got a slightly different tone in the bronzer. That is that's incredible that palette. So there we go. So you've got I've mixed them together here and I use that as a highlight. I haven't used it today, I'll show you which one I've used today, but I use it generally as a highlighter over my cheek. Then, like I say, the white one I might put in the inner corners. The gold one I'll use as it is as well as a highlighter. The pink, if I'm going to use this as a blush, I'll use a tiny bit, as a tiny bit of a topper. And then, like I say, the bronzer, really very pigmented, beautiful. And it's got a lovely sheen on it, so it's not a matte bronzer. I forgot to say, um, it's not, It even though it's an illuminating powder, the Chanel, it's... Um, it's not full on in your face. It's it's a lovely soft sheen, a lof, soft goldy touch. Right, my all time favourite. Um, I can't believe I'm I'm even mentioning Estee Lauder. Two Estee Lauders are my favourites. My God, um, Estee Lauder Pure Colour Envy, uh, Modern Mercury. Now they release this pretty much every year. It's in a lovely package this year. I can't say I'm a. I don't like the packaging that. Estee Lauder use I mean look at the state of that it's years old in fairness I've had this for years um I have to say it's been going for years now I use it all the time I mean it started to get a bit iffy now but oh my god it's well when I say iffy it's just getting a bit damaged it's not actually getting iffy as in the product wise so there it is that's a really heavy swatch of it so let me blend that out a little bit so that is on the tops of my cheeks today. So I don't know whether you can see. Yeah, see? And then, yeah, it's on the tops. Uh, Modern Mercury's a rose gold highlighter. It really is absolutely unique. It's beautiful. And like, say, um, Estee Lauder bring it out. They brought it out as well in when they done that capsule collection with... Um, What's the name? Victoria Beckham, and I had that stunning, but it's about fifty, sixty pound. I was like, oh, as much as I, I understand it's a collector's piece, and Victoria and Be Victoria Beckham, brilliant lover. So, anyway, onto my. I just wanted to show you my eyes. So, when I was showing you my brow product from Fenty Beauty um, on my last video, so if you want to check out the review, go back to that as well. Um, I'll link it below. I forgot to mention, so I got this in Ash Brown and it is on my, again, on my brows today and it's a lovely product, sets down, it's amazing, lovely fine, um, I'll show you again actually, I'm trying to hurry up, yeah, we're getting on a bit, so there it is, the Ash Brown and if you can't, I might see if I can get it to show you. How fine that point tip is. It's a lovely product. It winds up and down. However, I forgot to show you the tiny little brush on the end. This is fantastic. 
it's better than a spoolie it just really blends it out really well and i forgot to show you in, in the last video i did it's this tiny little brush so hang on my face is coming into play yeah tiny little brush look at it and it's gorgeous i think it's better than a spoolie so i wanted to show you that that's on my brows this is fastly becoming a true favorite of mine i showed it today just to show you the brush on the end um another favorite of mine and i thought dior discontinued it it is the most amazing mascara the dior new look now it's just it i'll do oh, i'm gonna oh, sorry what am i doing do that because my face is in view so the dior new look um it's, they've had it for years, uh, Dior. It's a lovely, it's lengthening and separating mascara. It doesn't add volume, thickness, it doesn't add that kind of volume. However, what I do with this is I will put this on as my first coat and then I'll get, say, another one like Chanel Le Volume and, and do that as a second coat or um, Long Comes Monsieur Big and they add the volume. So you get these lovely thick. So I've done Monsieur Big. Oh no, I think I've done Defenis, Defenisals by Lancome this time. And that new look is my first coat. And um, they just make the most amazing lashes. It's it's 10, 10 grams of product. So it's worth the money because you get a lot of product. Um, a lot of these high-end, um, you know, mascaras and even some of the high streets, they give you five or six grams of mascara it's like gone in no time so like say 10 mils of product it lasts quite a while it really does now finally have i come to yes last thing now normally i have got wedding bells on today as my lipstick but normally i don't bother with lipstick when i'm just running over the shop i tend to um put a lip gloss on and one of my favorites is the dior lip maximizer now this one is um they brought out what some they've all got different hues on them so i've got the rosewood one here are you aware of that as well so aware either or um and i just pop it on and because it's a lip ma maximizer it gives you a little tingle on the lips um so it just to me it makes my top lip slightly fuller just tiny bit it smooths off all those lines i was talking about around my lip and then it um like i say smooths my lips out and gives you a bit of color so you like you're wearing a it's a double impact um lip gloss basically now i've got I've run out of the full size but i've got a tiny bit of the original which is like a pale pink normally what i do with that is if i need to wear a lipstick i'll pop that on first or to go about getting ready leave it on um it takes about 20 15 20 minutes to work and then i'll uh, wipe it all off and then put my lipstick on uh, well lip liner and my lipstick so acts as a really nice um almost primer for your lips because and then like i say get, has a slight plumping effect now to be honest don't be expecting miracles from a topical product because that's quite unrealistic it does give slight plump a slight plumping effect and very smooth an effect on your lips however it's it's not going to make your lips look like instagram lips let's be real um how but it makes it better than an ordinary lip gloss this is my point and it's the same price so just so you know um so these were all my favorites for this month um sorry it's gone on again but it's 15 minutes less than this morning um so if uh, you would please like and subscribe uh, i would really appreciate it because this helps me and my tiny little channel and it's just a great support for me and um Obviously, um, take care and I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you next time.